Okay, in this lesson, uh, I've been thinking a lot about trying to make the sound of a chord just using two notes at a time. Um, it's an approach that I use even without the slide. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to create some melody and some movement even while I'm comping. So the exercise that this uh, video opens up with is the use of thirds. And I start out playing this lick uh, for the E chord. I'm, oh, by the way, I'm playing blues and E. And I'm playing the uh, second and third strings at the ninth fret. And I'm adding the fifth note at the top on the first string, seventh fret. Correctly, I think I I sort of added the um, the ninth and the seventh to turn this chord into a dominant chord. When we go to four, I'm using the fretting behind the slide technique, where I'm playing, I'm working from this shape, and I'm using the third of A and the fifth of A, and I'm dropping my second finger down on that second string to get the fifth. is kind of like uh, Sesame Street. So, which is a pattern that you can use both for the four chord and the five chord. Uh, so when I go to five, actually I might have just played those two notes for the five chord and then when we get to four, So practically speaking, what I've been doing is pinpointing one, three, five, seven around the guitar and trying to, um, I might record a groove on my little uh, looper pedal and then um, just practice defining the sound of a particular chord by using adjacent strings and usually it's intervals of thirds. So. Um, I could play E down here, that's like three and five. I could do, this is four and six, five and flat seven. So that lick that I just played down here, I could play down here, although I'm running out of space. to use uh, the third and the fourth strings as well so I might play this shape here I'm playing the third of E and the fifth of E and again I'm using the fretting behind the slide technique Is playing, say, the E, the e chord. Getting tight up there. All right, there you have it. Thirds. Um, see you next week.